interarticular extensile approach for tibial plateau fractures. Severe types of tibial plateau fractures are a complex management problem. The joint may have a significant comminution and depression, and the physician may need extensile approach for reduction and fixation of this fracture. I use the intraarticular extensile approach for tibial plateau fracture reduction and fixation. In general, tibial plateau fracture is a complicated problem. You need to do vascular evaluation. The ABI is needed. In some types, like medial plateau fractures, or in severe types like Chaskar 5 or 6. In general, medial plateau fractures are considered in need dislocation. You also may want to do fasciotomy for compartment syndrome. The soft tissue may be bad. You may want to put external fixture initially until the soft tissue condition improves. Also, the association of tibial plateau fractures and meniscal tear is not uncommon. The lateral plateau fracture will give us lateral meniscal tear. The medial plateau fracture will give us medial meniscal tear. It's usually peripheral. It should be recognized and dealt with. You may want to look at the x-ray and see if you have depression or separation more than 6 mm. There is a high chance of meniscal tear. Also, another problem with tibial plateau fracture is the posterior medial fragment, which needs to be fixed separately. When we have extensive, comminuted, displaced tibial plateau fracture, you may need excellent exposure of the articular surface to allow for anatomic reduction of the joint and visualization and repair or debridement of the meniscus if torn. This extensile exposure is important, especially if the posterior part of the plateau is also involved. The traditional way to see the articular cartilage of the tibial plateau is to do submeniscal approach by cutting the coronary ligament, the meniscotibial ligament, but the exposure is limited. Other extensile approaches are also developed. However, we use extensile intraarticular approach for complex comminuted tibial plateau fractures. It involves anterior detachment and retraction of the meniscus to improve visualization of the tibial articular surface. This approach can be utilized for lateral or medial tibial plateau fracture and it is especially helpful in diagnosing and repairing the torn meniscus. It allows inspection of the meniscus pathology and fractures of the articular surface. It improves reduction of the fracture and the torn meniscus is repaired and reattached to the coronary ligaments. Incision and reflection of the meniscus allows great exposure and inspection of the joint, which is followed by reattachment and suturing the anterior horn of the meniscus to its normal position, which is followed by reattachment of the meniscotibial ligament, the coronary ligament. The sutures are tied to the side of the patellar tendon on the opposite side of the meniscus. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.